Turkey will open its National Combat Aircraft Engineering Center and Composite Production Building dedicated to the development of the TFX fighter jet in a ceremony to be held on January 6. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is also expected to attend the ceremony to be held at the Turkish Aerospace Industries facility, the institution that will run the new centers, government-owned Anadolu Agency reported Wednesday. The MMU Engineering Center was established with an investment of about $16.3 million. It will employ over 2,000 people. Equipped with latest technologies, the engineers will be able to carry out all their activities at the center without an external dependence. The Composite Production Building, meanwhile, was established with an investment worth around $3.05 million. It consists of 19 blocks, including the main production center, paint shop and auxiliary buildings. The factory will be Turkey's largest and the world's fourth largest composite facility under a single roof. Some 150 engineers and 850 technicians will be employed at the facility, which has the capacity to meet 2% of the world's air structural composites market. Another center to be opened during the ceremony is the Space Systems Engineering Center that was completed with an investment of $2.3 million. It was established for design activities and hardware production in the field of space. The factory-level component maintenance repair control center, which was built with an investment of $4 million, is also among Thai facilities to be launched at the tomorrow's official ceremony. The design and production processes that will ensure 100% local production of all kinds of vehicles and equipment to be used in the operation of aircraft will be carried out at this particular center. Turkey will also open 16 new factories at the Ankara Aerospace and Aviation Specialized or HAB Organized Industrial Zone or OIZ, which continues its activities on an area of 730 hectares right next to Thai as Turkey's first specialized OIZ in the defense industry, Daily Saba reported. HAB aims to support the domestic industry in the fields of spaceflight and aviation, bringing together local and foreign companies to create synergy and to produce high-value added products and increase exports. The first part of OIZ, which is planned to be built in two parts, has been completed. For the second part, 90% of the infrastructure is scheduled to be completed in the first half of this year. There are currently 18 facilities in the HAB OIZ that have been completed and invested in by industrialists, and 57 facilities are still under construction. At the ceremony, the official opening of 16 factories and HAB OSB management building will be held. When HAB is completed, it will host 300 enterprises, 150 of which are industrial enterprises, and 15,000 people will be employed. The establishment of the TechnoHab Technology Development Zone, where companies will carry out their research and development activities, meanwhile, continues in the special area within the borders of the HAB.